Hey, I'm, my name is Ashin. Uh, we are going to discuss about SQL. So before going to SQL, we just need to know what is data. Data is something like a piece of information which, which carries uh, uh, a meaningful idea. So uh, this piece of information, we have to store some particular area. So those particular area called as database. No, not only storing this data, we have to organize or we have to manage those data. So we have to use an application called as what data manage, database management system. Database management system. Management system. Now, now in general, there are four TPMS applications. First one is um, hierarchical database management system. Net network di database management system, object database management system, and the last one, final one, relational database management system. So we are dealing with relational management system because uh, relational DBS because it's everything is well organized and every data is stored in in the form of table. So we are dealing with RDBMS applications. RDB as application now rdbms like in two to interact with the rdbms applications we have to use a programming language called as sql sql is structured coding language which contains a set of instructions to deal with or to interact with the rdbms application now in rdbms i told you like it is formed in the form of table so what is a table Table is nothing but a combination of rows and columns, right? Now, here, this particular area we will call as rows and here we will call as column and the intersection of rows and columns can be <coughs> called as cell. And the another name of row is called as triple and column is called as fields where we will store every data in this table right now before writing query there are certain things which we need to know now first one constraint Constraints are nothing but which will what provide some kind of restrictions. Uh, it will decide what kind of data are going to enter into the table. So there are types of constraints. The first one is not null. Sorry, constraint, not null constraint. Now, not null constraint, unique constraint. Check constraint. Primary key constraint, and foreign key. These are the main five constraints available inside SQL. Now, not null constraint. Not, con not null constraints are used along with the data type. It will check whether any cell, particular cell, is what vacant or what is empty if if it is an empty or if it is a null then it will throw an error see, see systematic error sorry syntactical error now another one is unique this constraint will uh, deal with unique elements if the elements are if any kind of duplicate elements are present and it will not allow the entry of the duplicate el elements and check Check constraint can be used to check some particular conditions where, for example, I can give check number should be greater than zero. Where this number is a column name and the elements which is present inside the number should be greater than zero. So the check constraints are checked. The primary key is nothing but is a combination of null value, not null value and uh, unique. 
this primary key is mainly present in the parent table and it's not man mandatory like whether we have to mention primary key inside I mean table uh, if we are not uh, word mentioning also it's a not at all problem but it is mostly preferred and foreign key from a foreign key is mainly used to establish a connection between the two tables if there is a primary key uh, primary key filled a table and a foreign key filled table this foreign key will be uh, what act as a parameter to establish connection between this parent table and I mean this child table parent <coughs> table is a table which is contain which contains the primary key is called as parent table and the table which contains the foreign key is called as chi child table now we'll go for data type inside SQL. First one is work here, which is having a size. Second one is character. Third one is int or number. Ticket. So these are the what frequent you use, frequently used data types in our programs. So where can it, it's it's in, in in detail we'll we can call it as variable character which provides a size. Here we we can mention a particular fixed size. So that particular character will be will be having a range of that much size. <coughs> but character have some sort of uh, what uh, limitations in the case of SQL in case of SQL and int or number it depends upon the applications we are going to use so there is a correction in care we will have a size and where can will be automatically variable now begin begin are mainly used to uh, like to indicate long number of long long range of integers uh, especially if you are filling a in filling into the table I mean mobile number suppose for example mobile number if you are filling mobile number into the table so it will contain 12 12 numbers so to point that 12 numbers we are using begin data type the final one is double to indicate I mean decimal values for floatable values we will use double data type now There are mainly five, five SQL statements. First one is DQL, then DML, then DQL, then DCL, then TCL. So these are all other five main statements which we need to know in SQL. So first one, data definition, DDL, data definition language, which will uh, play a cru crucial role to build the structure of a table. So it contains create, draw, truncate, iter, and rename. This all are this thing instructions plays a crucial role in designing a table, the structure of a table. Now DML, DML manages with manipulating uh, the what, whatever the inputs we are going to enter into the table. So DML will play a crucial role to manage the manipulate the table. Now D, DQL, DQL means it's mainly dealing with uh, what select select the data, and DCL, DCL, data control language, transaction control language. Under DCL, grand and revoke will be coming. TCL, uh, under TCL, uh, rollback, save point, commit. These things are coming. 